I always liked history. I've always, um, of course, early on, I remember I had this book that was um, The Wonders of the Ancient World. And it was uh, this really cool thing where it's like, you know, you had like the picture of what it looks like now, but you had this little um, uh, clear plastic piece that would go over it that showed what it looked like, you know, when it was built. And that always like kind of stuck with me and fascinated me. Growing up, I don't really remember like a point in time where I knew, oh, I want to be an archaeologist. It's, it was kind of just always there, like in the back of my mind. Um, I think learning about other cultures is really fascinating too. You know, modern cultures, past cultures. Uh, so I think I was really more into like anthropology and um, yeah, I just, I, I just always knew. My parents were kind of confused as to why I wanted to be an archeologist. <laughs> Didn't used to be the most outdoorsy person ever. <laughs> My grandmother was a huge influence on me when I was choosing history as a profession. She instilled the love and importance of history and art history into me since I was a young kid. Um, I grew up knowing about the master painters and about important events in world history um, because of her. It was all so second nature to me. We love traveling together and visiting museums. I've been fortunate enough to be able to visit countries such as England, France, and Italy because of her. She's taken me to some of those museums and I've been able to see um, original artwork done by the masters up close. I've been able to visit historic sites such as Versailles um, and some of the sh other chateau in the Loire Valley in France. And um, also in Italy, I got to visit a lot of the, the Colosseum and some of those Roman ruins. And I really um, am very interested in Greek and Roman mythology because of her as well. I also had a, high, a teacher in high school, uh, J.C. Davis. He had a uniform for every American war, uh, even going back to um, when we were still the British colonies. And whenever we covered that, he would always wear one of those uniforms into class. Uh, he was a reenactor also, so he had access to a cannon. So when we covered the Civil War, he brought a cannon and fired markers on the football field. I used to watch a lot of National Geographic as a kid. Yeah, I was all about like the nature shows. Um, I didn't really, I don't remember really what like watching cartoons at all. So maybe I'm just nerdy. <laughs> <laughs>